Okay, we're going to cook my Christmassy poached pears. So hopefully you've got your pear that's just been peeled. And first thing we need to do is just stud it with a couple of cloves. Get a couple of cloves out. And these should just press in. Just do one on either side and it'll infuse it with loads of nice Christmassy flavour. Pop it straight into a pan and then straight in with the liquid. So that's 700 millilitres, half white wine and half water. And we can turn the hob on. And see, I'm using the smallest burner on the on full full power on the smallest burner. Okay, and now we just need to add in the other ingredients. So it's just half a measure of Galliano, and I'm using this because, well, it's Christmas and it's alcohol, um, but it's vanilla-y, so if you don't already have Galliano, obviously there's no point just buying it specifically for half a measure. Just use a um, a little bit of a vanilla pod. Now we need to add in half a teaspoon of cinnamon. See all the great Christmas flavours, and then just a teaspoon of sugar. And then I'll just give it a stir. It won't look very nice with the cinnamon powder, but don't worry about that at all. Yeah, a little stir. And all we need to do is leave this for 15 minutes. Um, at this, using the, the burner that I'm using, 15 minutes, it'll start to be simmering towards the end. But if you find that yours, for whatever reason, is rapidly boiling, just turn the heat down to a gentle simmer. But it's just 15 minutes total from now. And I, I'm going to be reusing this little pot because I've only got one of them um, for the mulled wine reduction. So I'm just once you take your pear out after 15 minutes, just get rid of the, the poaching liquor and just give your pan a little rinse through so we've got that ready. And the last thing we need to do is just turn on the oven to get that preheating to 200 degrees and easy as that. So see you in 15 minutes.